So touching that dimension which is beyond the physical means, you want to touch that dimension which is the basis of the physical. When you say that which is the basis of the physical, what you're talking is that you're not interested in creation, but you're interested in the source of creation. There, if you go and stand in front of the creator, at least there you must keep your ideas down, isn't it? <laughs> your ideas must be kept down for some time when the creator is here, isn't it so? Isn't he the… He isn't he the biggest idea? <laughs> it's like, there was a man in Pennsylvania, where are you from? Ah, it rains, it doesn't flood there. <laughs> That's why we put Seattle on the coast. <laughs> Otherwise, it would flood, you know, <laughs> that place. <laughs> So Pennsylvania, there was a man in Pennsylvania. Once there was a big flood and… Are you okay if there's a joke inside a joke? All right. The flood was beginning to happen, the water was filling up and there was a very enthusiastic young journalist who is reporting stage by stage, hour by hour, as to how the flood is progressing, you know? Because that is journalism. Somebody is drowning, report to the world, this man is drowning, look at him drowning, take it on the video and show it to everybody how a man drowns. You don't throw the goddamn camera and get the man, no. You show the whole world how a man can drown in a flood. <laughs> So, these are not the days of uh, video cameras, only, you know, Morse code is how the report is being filed. So he filed a report very eloquently, he said, as God sits and watches, the water is filling up in this part of Pennsylvania and houses are going down and this and that and described it in very eloquent terms. Then he immediately got a response from his editor, leave the flood, interview God. <laughs> God is sitting and watching, <laughs> he thought he's somewhere here <laughs> Forget about the flood, interview God. They didn't get to interview him, it continued. Many homes drowned, many people died, but one man survived. This man who survived, went to New York City and shared among people how he survived a Pennsylvania flood where so many people died. People gathered. Then he went to Boston and talked about how he survived a Pennsylvania flood and more people gathered. Then he came to Seattle and he shared, more people gathered. Then he started his roadshow, city to city, talking and talking about how he survived a Pennsylvania flood. He became a famous speaker in America and then naturally, you know, every American has to write a book within their lifespan. So he wrote a book, how he survived a Pennsylvania flood. It became famous, he spoke everywhere and his engagements become international. He became a millionaire, sold millions of books. All his life he only spoke about how he survived the Pennsylvania flood. And uh, one day he died, not in a flood, he died. And they had an assembly. He went to… he went through the pearly gates and there was an assembly of people and uh, there was an opportunity to speak, a few people could speak. So he told his neighbors, I will share my experience about how I survived Pennsylvania flood. 
somebody nudged him and said, there is no one in the audience. Okay? So, now you don't go stand in front of that which is the basis of creation and throw your ideas at him. You are his idea. Yes? You are just a figment of his idea. If he withdraws his idea, you're gone. So you don't put your ideas. So this is the essence of meditativeness. Prayer means you're telling God what to do. You think you're God's consultant. Meditation means you have understood your limitations. Now you just shut up. If you just shut up, just shut up on all levels, everything that needs to happen to you will happen to you. All the training is just to help them to shut up, that you don't throw your silly ideas at the creator, you just shut up.